development of technological advancements have made it possible for people to progress as a society in many different aspects. We use technology in our everyday lives for the purpose of connecting and networking with people across the globe, ordering our food, and for some, our livelihoods are dependent on technology. It goes without saying that the journalism industry has grown alongside technological advancements, and journalists have had to learn how to adapt to the ever-changing media landscape. With the world facing the COVID-19 pandemic, newspapers have been severely affected by losses in advertising revenue, Journalists have been let off and some publications have stopped. Journalists have worked to combat misinformation in providing accurate public health updates. With all this happening, how do we as the future journalists prepare ourselves to head into the industry that is already facing an uncertain future? Where do we go from here? As journalism students, it is important we understand the ways in which the industry has evolved with technology, especially now since the pandemic has affected this development. So we present to you two journalism alumni to share their experiences and insights on the evolution of journalism in the age of digitalization. Kalau nak katakan perubahan, beberapa tahun sebelum ini pun media kita akan setiap berubah. Berubah dari segi penggunaan, ataupun saluran yang untuk menyampaikan berita. Kalau dulu kita gunakan saluran newspaper untuk sampai ke maklumat sekarang, dah ada media sosial dan sebagainya. Poin saya dekat sini adalah apapun perubahan ataupun evolu evolusi yang berlaku dalam platform media ini, dia bukannya satu menjadi satu masalah pun kepada kita. Jangan fikir, okey kita kita dah beralih kepada aspek ataupun penggunaan digital. Kita dah risau. Kita kena macam belajar semua benda ni. Tak payah risau pun sebab it's just alat untuk kita gunakan. Semacam so, kita boleh belajar pun, kita boleh menyesuaikan dengan alat-alat baru seperti inilah. Tapi mungkin akan menjadi masalah kepada wartawan-wartawan yang lama yang 20 atau 30 tahun yang lepas yang mungkin ada segelintir dalam kalangan mereka yang masih terikat dengan cara lama. Wabak ni kira macam mengajar saya tak kira dalam keadaan sekalipun kita menggunakan apa sahaja caralah untuk membolehkan berita tu dihasilkan. Tanpa kita perlu ke sidang media secara fizikal, secara bersemuka kepada orang semua kan. Even secara online pun, kita boleh buat berita kita. Ha, kan? Macam kalau ada ada orang buat PC secara live ke apa, kita buat je lah secara live. Buat macam biasa, tulis berita apa semua. Kalau tak boleh jumpa orang tu, call saja. Ah, ha, orang akan jawab jugalah macam mana kan. So macam COVID-19 ni bukanlah alasan untuk kita tak boleh menyelesaikan tugasan yang diberikan lah. Apapun keadaan, tugasan tetap satu keutamaan lah. I think it's pretty obvious the moment that we can see most of the nations like even Malaysia actually we are doing we are heading towards digitalization as you can call it lah kan. When we talk about digitalization, we automatically are talking about uh, technology, you know, how advanced it will be and how advanced it is right now. So it is getting easier uh, and we are getting much more connected with the changes. But when we have too much freedom, I mean too much easy work, we tend to forget that it is actually challenging when we, we are talking about how to differ between fake and true uh, news uh, macam tu kan. That's when ethics and juga professionalism comes into our mind. Everyone is becoming so opinionated as we can see from social media. Kan? Well, people tweet something and then it can easily create havoc. Scary. It's even scarier from the pandemic itself. One misleading or misinformation yang kita sebab kepada orang, it can create such panic to yang saya rasa macam menakutkan. So, it is challenging but it is easier juga. So, it depends on how we utilize it and how we uh, perceive it and how we as a user juga walaupun kita juga uh, provide content but we are also a user juga kan kita pun baca juga pasal artis, pasal news, pasal lain, lain so I can come to a conclusion that it is challenging juga walaupun in a way it's easy The pandemic outbreak has become the catalyst for various industries evolution towards digitalization Society has been shifting towards adapting to virtual-based platforms and this can be seen in the education sectors and also the media industry. Despite the challenges that we face in the field today, there is still hope for the future of journalism as media practitioners strive to adapt to these changes by expanding their skills and developing a solid resilience for any challenges that come their way. Remember, with evolution, the only way to move forward is for us to evolve as well. My name is Alia Zafri. And I'm Shazwan Mustafa. Reporting, Reporting for Sasaran. Sasaran.